All right. Hey, Fit Fighter family, and welcome. We have an extremely special guest today. Her name is Melissa Christian. Well, I'm sitting here from Pittsburgh, which is where Dick's Sporting Goods is headquartered, and it's actually not um, too far from where I grew up. So I'm from a very rural town, about 30 minutes or 30 miles outside of Pittsburgh. And I always tell people I'm from a place that has no red lights and everyone knows everyone. Swimming was an early part of my life and sports was an early part of my life. And that's really what propelled me out of my small town. I always tell people it was a place that you could get very comfortable in. But swimming introduced me to so many different people. Um, I actually swam with an all boys boarding school that was in my town. So I met boys and student athletes from all over the country, even all over the world. Um, so I went to business school with a, a hope to get out of, of corporate finance and also try and get back to home, which is Pittsburgh. And that's how I found Exporting Goods. What are the core lessons that's taught you? Who have been mentors or coaches along the way? And you know, tell us about that, the, the power of that experience for you. My entire self-identity was a swimmer for the majority of my life. I think swimming very early on, even when I was six, when I started, I had a coach, his name's Mr. Bauer, but he really spent a lot of time and a lot of focus on us. And we had a really high standard. I had good friends. We're still really close. They've all done really awesome things in their life. And I feel really fortunate and that work provided that for me that I would have never really expected, especially while I was living in it. What has surprised you the most? Like, have there been, and these can be like Story, you know, inspirational stories or like pieces of research that might we might be able to leverage or like, you know, like have there been a, things that really surprised you either like could be in a bad way or could be in a great way that we can sort of like latch on to as things to, you know, help us continue to sort of move things forward. I will say that it's the qualitative, um, you know, whether it's a, a, a letter from a customer or a note about an experience in store that also gets us really quite passionate. We had an, ex an experience about a year ago where um, we had a little girl go into a competitor store looking to buy the Elena Deladon basketball shoe. And she asked um, an employee at the other retailer if they carried it and he didn't know who Elena Deladon was. And then when she explained, he said, wow, women's sports, I'd rather watch paint dry. That I'm sure you're probably getting goosebumps of a different kind right now. Just knowing that that is um, something that some people believe and that this very impressionable 12 year old girl had to experience that. What I love about her is here's another example of someone using her voice. She wrote a blog article about it. And, um, you know, she had also come to Dick's Sporting Goods. So we were a part of the story. But um, Elena Deladon and us came together to try and make sure that we could, one, ensure she knew that women's sports does matter. You know, older, more mature, wiser women reaching out to us and just saying the impact it has had on them is so inspirational. I think it's a reminder to all of us that um, sport transcends so many things. It transcends age, it transcends race, it transcends political views. And that's why I think it's one of just the most exciting areas to work in. Um, and there's just so much to be inspired by every day at Dick's Sporting Goods and, and in the role that I, I'm so grateful to have. What's some of your next focus going forward, like towards the end of this year? Now we're after the post Olympics um, and heading into next year. And we'll wrap up that way with hearing about what's next on your radar. Fun spots, including something that people probably don't expect from a Dick's Sporting Goods, but will be in the September issue of Vogue magazine, which is their their fashion issue of the year. Um, and it's bringing that same concept to life in a disruptive property, we think. Um, that's all about beauty and, and showing um, the, the various sides of beauty as we see it through the, the strong and, and incredible women of America. So check that out. We're excited by that. More to come. I, some I can't share, as I mentioned, but, but follow along. And I hope that people are are as proud as I am about the work that the company is doing. I'm so grateful to be at an organization, like I said, that's, that's doing good, good work, um, both in women's sports and other areas. But thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about it, Sarah.